Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday the 29th, right? Mama's up there with the mutts. It is 64 degrees out here, and <laughs> it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm just now rendering yesterday's video, so I apologize for two crazy late videos. But anyway, let me show you something here. Um, here's one of the panniers. God, it's amazing the amount of room in that thing. And because the lock is a hinge, you can go either way. So depending on what side you need in, you jump in. And there's the lock, that's their amazing setup that locks these things down. I put the tumblers and the uh, pad kit on this last night came out here at two o'clock this morning and put it on so it's got the it's got the lock tumblers in both of them you got to build these things and I just threw this side on with there's no tumblers in the in the locks but uh anyway you can see this side is slightly reduced because of the uh, exhaust being on this side still massive room you gotta build every one of these tumblers. They're empty. So you have to key it to your bike. And uh, once you figure one out, you just write the code down. See how it's explaining how you put it together. And there's certain spots that are empty, certain ones that have, you know, one's a lock pin, and it's a whole gaggle of stuff you gotta do. So it takes, and you can see. All the millions of little springs and and the different keys or tumblers to set the lock up. Tons of stuff in there. So anyway, I have six of those. It took me quite a while to build those two. A long time for the first one because you have once you figure one out, you just write it all down. You know, I just draw out a little picture and go, this is one, this one's three, this one's two, two, whatever, you know. And there's some on the top, some on the bottom. But what's amazing no rattles I mean absolutely lock solid no sounds I've no sat riding customers with these on I go, and them bags are absolutely stone quiet bags on that old venture that thing rattles you know detachable bags that thing rattles the saddlebags rattle the trunk rattles even when it was new but you're talking 1983 technology too so anyway I'm a uh, Grab some stuff and I'm gonna sit down and build six more tumblers. Well, there she is, complete with lock sets and the uh, mounted up. Man, <laughs> it just still freaks me out the amount of room in these things. Just absolutely nuts. Man, these things are so freaking nice. Crazy nice. awesome isn't that cool man that just makes that old GS look like it's truly an adventure bike now yeah buddy look at that <laughs> that's cool got the three amigos sitting over there they say we love each other and despite the not so rainy oh it's a red winged blackbird Despite it not looking very rainly, <laughs> rainly, <laughs> it keeps sprinkling out here. Dead gummit. Oh, it's supposed That's to be nice. Back here it comes again. Yeah. Look at this beauty. It is a beautiful sunny day. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Yeah, this will really be unfortunate if I have to follow this car for very long. But this is an incredible road. Look at that beautiful gate entering someone's house. Entering their proud home. Look at that. Somebody landscaping. Getting ready to do something. Yeah, he's 
people are getting these lots ready. There's going to be some some additional housing up here. But this is a wonderful road. Come on, please. You know, most people are really, really cool to motorcycles and pull over. I do, like when it's on a twisty road. I'll pull over, let them buy. But this lady could be one of those people that are not very friendly. Or uh, totally oblivious to the fact that motorcycles like to have fun. Alright, I can't see up the top of the hill. Oh man, that was my opportunity. I couldn't see under the tree. Come on, you live up here, you about to turn. I know you are. Before the good stuff hits here. But you're getting right up on it. Oh yeah. He's going to ruin it for me. Look, I got a car closing in on me. That car's thinking the same thing. I want to drive through here fast. got a destination not you ruin a fun part oh you're just pulling over oh look at that thank you lady oh this thing is just incredible look at that off camber turn that's death to a rookie right there not that I'm going fast enough to do anything but Oh yeah, it's wonderful. See, you gotta watch them cars pulling out on you. You can see the Columbia River out there. We're way up above it now. 813, 819. We're up here. The, the freeway down there is basically ground level. <laughs> Probably anywhere from 30, 40, 50 feet above sea level. Oh, look how this thing just twists and winds through here. That's incredible. You just never know who's going to pull out of the driveway, so I'm a little pretentious here. Oh, but this is special. Bicyclist. Oh man, we are going down. Woo, making my ears pop. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Ooh, look at that gravel. That, ooh, that could get you, man. beautiful road. Absolutely stunning. I wish I knew this thing like the seat. Look at that. Thank God for absolutely incredible brakes. See, you just never know. You don't go racing around on these back roads. Don't be fooled. I'm by no means going fast. You can probably see the Speedo. We're just kind of being brisk and having fun. Wow, poor UPS guy out here delivering it. What is it, 643? Oh, there you are. Look at that view. Looking out over the Columbia. That back there is uh, like St. Helens, Oregon on the other side of the river. The state line is split between the river. Is that breathtaking or what? Man, there's still a lot of flooded areas out there. That's crazy. After all this time, the car's not sailing by me. Kind of hard to see out the mirrors when you're standing up. 
Wow, isn't that beautiful though? Yeah. One lane road ahead. Look at all that gravel. But you were well worn before you got there. Well, that area is what we could see going down I-5 that was uh, flooded. Ooh, I tried to hit the turn signal like this thing was a Harley. See, there's that little stretch of I-5 where we look out over. Green Mountain Road. That is a road that I lost track of. Came out here and had a failed uh, attempt to find it. I wasn't real, I didn't remember the name of it. But years and years ago when I worked at Woodland Honda for about, I don't know, it was about eight months or something, uh, I used to take that, those back roads or come over that hill on my lunch break and stuff with my uh, VF1000R that I had at the time. In fact, that's where I bought the bike was from Woodland Honda, the VF1000R. An incredible bike. But I couldn't remember what that road was or how you accessed it. And then a detour happened here a couple, couple months ago, maybe more. It took us four hours to get home. There's a landslide out on I-5 and they detoured us over this road. And as I, even though it was all foggy and there was snow on the sides of the road and everything, it's going through there. I go, Kelly, this is it. This is the road. Green Mountain Road. I knew this mountain was called Green Mountain. I just didn't think about the name of the road. But anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed that. <clears throat> One little stint on the old GSA. This thing is so epic. This thing is so far beyond where I would ever ride it. I'm talking about on the road. I'm not talking about all its other capabilities, but you can ride this thing way harder than I would ride it. 20 years ago, maybe? I'd be seeing if I could drag the cylinders through there, but yeah. But anyway, fun, fun, fun bike. But anyway, thank you guys very much for coming for that little jaunt over the hill. Um, I did this once before, and like I said, they had an audio thing. Actually, I still have the audio thing. I just know how to work around it. But uh, I appreciate you guys coming along. You guys have a wonderful day. The weekend's supposed to, the weather's supposed to be pretty good here. So uh, hopefully we can get some more ride in, rides in. We'll try to swap some bikes out around. And the BMW is new and fresh. So, you know, of course I'm going to ride it a bit at first. So you guys have to be patient with me just a little bit. And we'll get the old iron and the street glide, DR and... I've got a, a huge request for the spider. So I uh, definitely need to spend some, some time, quality time with that spider. I need to dig that thing out and give it a bath. It's still dirty from last year when I was riding it. it then it set my set my shop all winter and got all dusty. So but anyway, I think I'm going to conclude it at that. Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a, a normal goodbye vlog. Some of you are probably going... I thought that thing was gone forever. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that little clip going over Green Mountain Road. Going over Green Mountain on Green Mountain Road. That was the clip. I was actually saving that for the motor vlog. But I was thinking, you know, today we were kind of holding out because her and I were going to take a little back road ride and end up over at, at uh, Ryan's house and go check out their house and hang with them for a little bit. But as 
it just ended up pouring down rain. I mean, dumping. Everything's wet. Wiped everything out. So I'm going, well, now what? I don't have a, I was saving. I was trying to make little short clips to save time for the, the first dual vlog on the GS Adventure and to test out the bag, see how she feels on it. She sat on it. You know, the pads aren't going to be anything comfortable like a spider or a backrest on my street glide or anything like that, but at least it's something for for a lean on, you know. But um, anyway, so much for that. And I thought, well, I got that clip. I wanted to save that for a moto vlog. And I was thinking, well, I've talked to you guys all about it. So if I did it on the moto vlog thing, it would just be this road I took. And um, a lot of you guys said, oh, you got to take that road again. So anyway, I decided to use that moto vlog clip for this. I had to cut out little things where I'm referring to the moto vlog. <laughs> I said, on my, or the daily vlog, I was going, on the daily vlog, if you guys watch that, I talked about this and that, and I used little clips of this, I had to cut all that out of there, so, because you guys going, wait a minute, I'm watching the daily vlog, aren't I, did I switch channels on that? Yeah, what are we talking about <laughs> now? Where, where did we get lost here? I'm still just absolutely floored at the quality of those bags, I, I want to say it's, it's, is it here in the States? Tortac or something like that builds? I don't know if that's a U.S. company. It could be U.K. I have no idea where they're built. But BMW doesn't build them. They um, have, I think it's Tortac, if I'm not mistaken, builds them. Unbelievable they're quality. Nice bags. Yeah. I mean, the attention to detail and the workmanship and the crazy amount of room in those things, it's nuts. Yeah, I could put a doggy in it, huh? Yeah, stuff a wabby down here. Yeah. That's kind of sniffing in some loving down here. Down here going to love me now. Yeah, she's been crashed out at my feet. Because you guys are in there now. They're like, they go, yep, it's raining. Time for, like, I, I don't know why I was thinking of Sunday at the beginning. I think I even said it was Sunday. It feels like a Sunday, that lazy, lazy Sunday, you know. Yeah. Kind of disappointed the weather turned. But. I know. I was thinking we were going to do something. And it just kind but in all fairness, I, I never really paid attention to it. And I think what I, all I was hearing is all the guys, you know, down in Vancouver talking about it being nice. The weather in Vancouver can be a... a totally different. Be, yeah. A whole 180 from what we have up here. So I am not pay attention. i just going by what everybody was saying. It's probably beautiful, warm, and sunny down in Vancouver today. But um, anyway, it is... Uh, three minutes till midnight and uh we haven't even eaten yet believe it or not so we should probably go. yeah so <laughs> we need to we need to roll out and call this a good one and i will finish this tonight and at least get it um uploaded so i can tag and stuff in the morning and release it no more 231 day four something today or whatever it was yeah oh, i'm sorry yesterday because you're watching it today i know we get it all backwards <laughs> Well, all thank, right. All right. Sorry. Oh, she was like, I, she's was so going. ready. She's going to slip in and grab it. I'm uh, sorry. Right. You guys take care. Uh, sorry. You guys take care. Very. Uh, Abby, stop. You guys take care. Thank you very, very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time. Same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful day. Now, Abilene is down here pawn. Sorry, guys. Yep, she's down here like, you're going to love on me like right now. I can't concentrate with doggy paw. Yeah, on. she's half awake. I know it. She goes, I'm waking up from my nap and I need some affection. Yep. Alright. <laughs> now she's <laughs> pawing at her. Alright. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Maybe we can get that ride in, that first yeah. dual vlog. Goof off dual vlog. That'd be good. <clears throat> Alright. Until tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye now. Thank you guys.